we start uh, with, a, with a production strain that is delivered um, and we also get some information of the parameters that are used in, in very small scale. And then we try to establish this small scale process at our lab to get an idea um, of, of the entire process. And then we scale over different volumes like 5 liters, 35 liters, 1,500 liters, up to 85,000 liters. Um, and this is how we scale it up. And of course, we have to take care um, of a lot of things, like it, it takes longer time if you want to fill a big pot compared to a small pot, and the other way around, it, is, it also takes longer time to empty it. And this has an, an really a big influence on the process, and this is what you have to take care of. Normally we know um, what conditions are optimal for the production strain. Uh, and this is something you can set. It's like pH, temperature, um, and also oxygen that is, uh, that is uh, brought to the fermenter. Um, and, and then you, you add a lot of sugar, a carbon source, um, that should energize your production strain. Uh, and when the production strain is used of the sugar, it starts normally to produce uh, some acids which lowers the pH and you have to always to keep this pH at optimal thing. So this is something that is very important. differ between upstream process, which is the production of the product, the fermentation in our case, and then the downstream process, which is um, the removal of the product of, out of the uh, process solutions um, until uh, you have a, a formulation uh, where you uh, have a stable enzyme, for example, for, for excess XY. Um, so the first thing after fermentation is that you remove the production strain by a step called um, separation. Uh, you can use their uh, a, a centrifuge for example but also um, microfiltration. Um, and after the total removal of the production strain you normally lower the process volume by a second filtration uh, which allows water and small organic molecules to pass the filter but not the enzyme. So you can uh, concentrate the enzyme and you also can um, exchange the buffer system to have a precisely defined um, process solution at the end. Uh, and then the last step normally is formulation depending on the needs of the customer. There is enzymes that, that are really not robust, not stable, and th there are um, enzymes that are very stable, as for example XXXY. And it helps really a lot if you have a stable enzyme, because in all these steps you enter a lot of energy in the process, and energy is not always very beneficial to, uh, to enzymes. As you maybe are aware, if, if you cook uh, on Sunday morning an egg, you destroy let, uh, in, in the end the egg, the enzyme in the eggs um, before you eat it. And this can happen also to an enzyme in a process. But excess is why happily it's very very stable and this is uh, that, that makes it easier for production. It is very important uh, that our final product does not contain production, uh, our production strains. This is um, more or less a rule by the European Commission and the German uh, government. Um, we are ISO 9001 certified. It is very, very important to have a high quality um, in our products. Uh, and this is, uh, and, and one step that, that is leading to this high quality is the removal of the production strain. So in, in our final product we almost do not have any um, microorganism. Um, for the, the final product um, is analyzed not only regarding um, activity which is important for our customers but also for absence of production strain, um, for absence of toxins, for absence of heavy metals. So this is uh, all these analyses uh, are done with, with every batch that, that is produced here. 
First, um, one of the, the biggest um, challenges is uh, that you need more time uh, to um, to move that high amount of process volume. That is simply takes more time. And what's also very important um, is to, to get enough oxygen in the fermenter vessel to guarantee uh, full respiration for your, for your strain. Um, very connected to this issue is um, that you have to maintain the pH because if bacteria do not get enough oxygen, they start acidifying the process solution uh, until they die in the end. And finally, which is also very important, uh, with uh, if you compare it to the small scale, you enter a lot of energy in the process uh, volume, which in the end uh, requires cooling instead of heating in small scale.